India's Chandrayaan-3 mission has potentially achieved a groundbreaking milestone by capturing seismic data on the Moon, marking the first instance since the 1970s. The potential confirmation of the seismic data, being of natural origin, holds significant promise in advancing our understanding of the internal structure of the Moon. If verified, this groundbreaking information could provide valuable insights into the arrangement and composition of the Moon. The vibrations were meticulously documented by the onboard instrument for lunar seismic activity of the Vikram lander, providing valuable data on the seismic activity of the Moon. The instrument deployed on the Moon as part of the mission had the distinction of being the pioneering micro-electromechanical systems technology-based device on the lunar surface. It successfully captured and documented the seismic vibrations produced by the movements of the Pragyan rover during its exploration activities. However, the system also has the capability to detect and register occurrences that may occur naturally, such as earthquakes or impacts caused by celestial bodies colliding with one another. According to a statement released by the Indian Space Research Organization, the main purpose of the Indian Lunar Seismic Activity Mission is to accurately measure and assess ground vibrations caused by a variety of sources, including natural earthquakes, impacts, and artificial events. The mission aims to capture and analyze seismic data in order to gain valuable insights into the lunar surface's geological activity. In addition to the information presented earlier, there is also a noteworthy event recorded on August 26, 2023, which appears to be of natural origin. The current development is incredibly impressive. Up until now, the most noteworthy seismic information we possess about the Moon originated from the data collected during the Apollo program, which took place in the late 1960s and 1970s. Scientists have been eagerly awaiting the opportunity to acquire more information about the internal structure of the Moon as it still remains a mystery. The utilization of seismic data would greatly contribute to unraveling this intriguing aspect of the Moon's composition and provide valuable insights into its geological makeup. In the short span of a few weeks since Indian Space Research Organization's monumental landing on the Moon, the Indian Space Research Organization has wasted no time in conducting a multitude of scientific observations and has successfully detected the presence of the first elements at the lunar South Pole. This exceptional achievement showcases the organization's dedication to advancing our understanding of the Moon and its composition. Currently, both the lander and rover are in a state of dormancy. This is due to the fact that it is currently nighttime in the specific location on the Moon where they are stationed, and lunar nights can endure for approximately 14 days. Vikram and Pragyan similar to previous lunar missions, rely on solar power as their primary source of energy. This implies that during the night, when their batteries cannot recharge, they enter a state of dormancy known as sleep. Vikram and Pragyan are scheduled to awaken from their dormant state on 22nd of September, as they prepare to resume their fascinating expedition to the enigmatic southern region of the Moon. NASA can't explain strange spiral in space. In 2006, scientists finally uncovered the true nature of star AFGL 3068, a first-of-its-kind spiral object 3,000 light-years away in the constellation Pegasus. Before this discovery, scientists knew the star existed, but the object was too faint for scientists to determine exactly what the spot was. Only after a 33-minute long exposure with the ultra-sensitive advanced camera for surveys on the Hubble Space Telescope did scientists begin to really see the spirals come into view. Scientists found that the entity consisted of large, perfectly placed coils of dust floating out in the universe. Before AFGL 3068, the only spirals found in space were known as spiral galaxies. This star is nothing like a spiral galaxy. First of all, it is not a galaxy at all. Instead, it is made up of a binary star system that includes two stars orbiting around each other. The first star is a red giant carbon star, and the second is a blue-white star that exists 103 astronomical units away from the red giant. 103 astronomical units are approximately two times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. Since the two stars are so far from one another, they take approximately 800 years to orbit around each other. So, how are the spirals created? 
In the most basic sense, the red giant releases carbon material. This material then combines to form larger molecules, which create fine black dust. This dust covers the red giant and blocks all or most of its light. The blue-white star's gravitational pull tugs the dust toward itself and away from the red giant, but most of the dust ends up escaping into space during the process. As the two binary stars circle each other, the black dust escapes outward to form a spiral. After determining how the spirals were created, scientists wondered how the system was being illuminated. The dust being dispelled is dark and has no illumination qualities of its own, yet it could still be seen. The star could not have illuminated the spirals because it was also covered in the black dust, so scientists determined that the spirals were being illuminated by our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Interestingly, this is the only celestial body that is not illuminated by sunlight, starlight or fluorescence that has been photographed. While these phenomena might occur similarly in other systems, they were not officially discovered before AFGL 3068. This is because these phenomena can be difficult to find. First, the red giant is consistently losing significant amounts of mass in the form of black dust. That level of mass loss can only be temporary and scientists must be in the right place at the right time. Second, the giant would have to be part of a binary system orbiting around another star big enough to have a large enough gravitational pull to draw in the black dust. This fantastic new discovery could help scientists and astronomers solve the many mysteries in other systems that were unsolvable before the discovery on AFGL 3068. Scientists discover a multi-planet system just 33 light-years away. Astronomical discoveries tend to be so fascinating because they happen far away, in places that seem so intangible, which adds to their mystery. 33 light-years away, or about 10 parsecs, astronomers from MIT have discovered a new mysterious multi-planet system. This system is one of the closest multi-planet systems to our own in the Milky Way galaxy. Multi-planet systems are not created equal, as this newly discovered galactic neighborhood is quite different from what we have. In this system lies a cool M-dwarf star named HD 260655 that astronomers think hosts at least two planets that are similar in size to our Earth. Unlike Earth, astronomers believe these planets are not home to any life forms. The temperatures on these planets are too high to host any liquid water. Despite the fact that scientists do not believe these planets contain any life, it's still a fascinating find. Scientists will be able to look at the properties of the planets to determine what levels of atmosphere they may have, and the closeness of the system and the brightness of its star make this task easier. According to Michelle Kunamoto of MIT's Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research and one of the study's lead scientists, these planets ignite many questions the team want answers to. She questions, is there a volatile rich atmosphere around these planets? And are there signs of water or carbon-based species? These planets are fantastic test beds for those explorations. Space exploration is far from an easy endeavor, but with constantly advancing technology that collects new data, investigating faraway planets and planetary systems has become more achievable in recent years. This planetary system was identified by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, a mission led by MIT to observe the closest, brightest stars and find dips in light that may indicate a planet. This is precisely what occurred in the discovery of this new planetary system. Michelle Kunamoto was monitoring incoming data from the satellite mission and noticed two dips in light from HD 260655. While the process of confirming test objects of interest can sometimes take years, archival data helped to speed up this timeline. The team located data from the high-resolution Eschel spectrometer in Hawaii as well as from CARMINES, an instrument that is part of the Cala Alto Observatory in Spain. Using the archival data, as well as Kunamoto's recent observations, the team was able to conclude that the TOIs were in fact planets. Hubble finds mysterious disk of blue stars around a black hole. 
When it comes to space, nearly everything that is discovered immediately generates several unanswered questions and reveals dozens of unsolved mysteries, and perhaps no phenomenon is shrouded in more mystique than black holes. Recently, researchers were able to solve one such mystery, the source of a mysterious blue light that was observed by astronomers using the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope encircling a supermassive black hole in the Andromeda Galaxy. Although the light had been first observed more than a decade before, no viable answer as to why it existed had been found, other than that it appeared to come from a cluster of blue stars. This in itself was mysterious, as the presence of such a close supermassive black hole should have torn apart any matter in the vicinity, preventing stars such as these from forming. It was not until new spectroscopic observations were made using Hubble's Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph that researchers realized that the light was coming from a cluster of over 400 blue stars that formed in a small, tightly packed disk around 200 million years ago. Surrounding the tight blue disk is an elliptical ring composed of cooler, redder stars that are much older than the central disk. Researchers measured the velocities of these stars as they traveled at high speeds around the black hole, trapped in the strength of its gravitational forces. In fact, they are traveling so incredibly fast that it would take them a mere 40 seconds to completely orbit Earth and only six minutes to arrive at the Moon. Todd Lauer with the National Optical Astronomy Observatory in Tucson, Arizona, led the group of astronomers that made the observations. The blue stars in the disk are so short-lived that it is unlikely in the long 12 billion year history of Andromeda that such a short-lived disk would appear now. Lauer said, That's why we think that the mechanism that formed this disk of stars probably formed other stellar disks in the past and will trigger them again in the future. We still don't know, however, how such a disk could form in the first place. It still remains an enigma. Although the mystery of what could be causing that strange blue light radiating from the immediate vicinity of a supermassive black hole, the fact remains that it seems outright impossible for stars to exist in the region at all. These discoveries, although still shrouded in mystery, will likely play a major role in the process of helping researchers prove ubiquitously that there is a star-forming black hole at the center of the Andromeda galaxy. John Cormendi of the University of Texas in Austin said that there are compelling reasons to believe that these are supermassive black holes, but extreme claims require extraordinarily strong evidence. We have to be sure that these are black holes and not dark clusters of dead stars. So for now, the search and the mystery continues. Rock found in Egypt comes from supernova. While new satellites and technologies are constantly being launched into space every day, we sometimes get space discoveries right here on Earth. According to a recently published research paper in the journal Icarus, a mysterious stone discovered in the Egyptian desert was confirmed to come from a supernova explosion from outside our own solar system. The stone named Hypatia, after a female Egyptian astronomer, was found in the Great Sand Sea in the mid-1990s. The sample was thought to be far different from anything that scientists have discovered on our Earth or even in the Milky Way galaxy. The stone has been analyzed by a group of chemists at the University of Johannesburg since 2013, and they have reached several hypotheses about its origins. They believe that a red giant star collapsed into a white dwarf star that then formed part of a binary system along with another star that it later consumed. That white dwarf star later exploded as a supernova, with gas atoms from the explosion getting caught in a dust cloud that the team believes formed the stone's body as that dust cloud formed solid rock. According to the researchers, this formation occurred more than 4 billion years ago, with the rock later hurtling towards Earth and eventually landing in the Egyptian desert. If the team's hypothesis is correct, Hypatia would be the first tangible evidence on Earth of a supernova-type IA explosion, according to Jan Kramers from the University of Johannesburg. Equally exciting is that Hypatia may also provide evidence that a parcel of dust from outer space could actually be incorporated in the solar nebula that our solar system was formed from without being fully mixed in. 
There has been an exhaustive search for a definitive answer as to what this alien rock truly is. From analyzing Hypatia, it was clear the stone could not have come from Earth, let alone our solar system. The rock only contained 1% of the silicon, manganese and chromium that it would have had if it had been born in our solar system. The stone also has exceedingly large amounts of other elements like iron, sulfur, copper and phosphorus. Space dust, asteroids and meteors in the Milky Way galaxy also do not seem to match the makeup of the stone. While there is evidence that Hypatia did not come from a red supergiant star, a familiar object in our universe, or a supernova type II, it does seem to match something far rarer. According to the researchers, Hypatia seems to fit something that would have come from a supernova type IA, which only occurs one or two times per century in each galaxy. It seems scientists have discovered something truly remarkable. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.